Welcome everybody to another video here with Hustle Buddies where we share tools, tips, and advice for Amazon sellers. I'm Nate and I will be taking you through what Scout X is today and why it's going to be such a game changer for your Amazon business. Let's dive into this. All right, so Scout X is a tool that comes with Inventory Lab. Now, if you've been watching our channel for any length of time or if you've been in our Facebook group, you probably have heard me say that almost every tool is a nice to have thing. There are very few things that are like need to haves in this business. The two that are closest would be Keepa. Everyone's got to have Keepa and some sort of listing software such as Inventory Lab. Now, Scout X, why it's a game changer is because it was created by Inventory Lab and it comes with your Inventory Lab subscription for free, okay? Now this is a direct competitor to things like Seller Amp, to things like uh, RevSeller, ASIN Zen, um, BuyBot Pro, all of those on-screen calculators um, are, are what this is, but this is free. This doesn't cost anything extra. And since these are nice to have tools, replacing a paid, sometimes expensive, nice to have tool with a completely free one that works 95% as well, um, I think is usually a no brainer. I think that almost everyone should just switch to this. There's a couple exceptions, um, but the vast majority of people um, can get rid of their seller amp. You can get rid of your rev seller, all, all of those things, because this is free. Um, <laughs> now, if you don't have inventory lab, you will need to get inventory lab. So it's like, it's sort of free with an asterisk. Like, yes, it comes with inventory lab, but I'm assuming that most folks here that are doing any sort of, uh, Amazon at scale have a listing software such as inventory lab. All right. Most common listing software by far. So I'm going to go in with the sort of assumption that you've gotten that and that therefore this is free. Okay. So let's dive into some of the features that this does sort of how to use it, um, why to use it, some tricks, things like that. Um, a couple pet peeves I have with it, some things that I don't like, um, but this is brand new. I'm sure that they're going to continue updating it and all that. So let's, uh, let's, let's dive into that on your Amazon screen. When you have scout X, you will see it pop up right here. It'll make you log into your inventory lab account. Um, and then once you do, you will see this pretty handy calculator pop up on every product that you are trying to source on Amazon. Um, now this does include things like the restricted checker. Um, uh, I believe it also checks hazmat. Obviously this is not a hazmat shoe, but, um, there would be another simple here for hazmat. Um, so it includes all of those basic functions, um, like, can you sell it? Um, all of that. Um, it includes all of the, uh, calculations just like normal. Like let's say you are buying this from a TJ Maxx or Marshall, something like that. And you're getting this shoe for 20 bucks. Um, you can type in your buy cost right there and you see all of your calculations right there. Okay. Um, so like for this one, if you were getting it for 20 bucks, your ROI would be 74%. Okay. Now all of the different calculators, um, like seller amp and rev seller and ASINs and, and scout X, they use slightly different, um, calculations for this. Most of the time it has to do with this estimated storage time, but you can change this. Like if you think this is going to take you three months to sell, you can just click three months, um, on that little I, and then that'll adjust all of your prices and things. Usually that's the differentiator. Um, but there's, there's some slight differences. It should never make a huge deal. If it's making a huge deal, then you, there's probably not enough profit on that product. Um, so yeah, so you have your calculator here. Um, you can see like the rank stuff, the graph. Some people like to use this. I, I really discourage this. I think this builds some lazy habits, but if you like that, um, it's got this little graph right there. Um, I like seeing the, um, the 30, 90 and 180 day averages. Cause I can see like right now it's selling for 53, but, uh, over the past year uh, or half a year, 180 days, the average selling price is actually 57 dollars and 89 cents so i might even be able to bump my price up a little bit especially if this is going to take a little bit longer to sell um, i might be able to squeak out a little bit more okay so you've got all of that there um you've got if you want to like quickly copy the uh, upc or asin for some reason you can do it there um they have this variation viewer really simple and handy so you see over here um if you're the kind of person that's especially buying clothing things like that 
you want to see the variations. You want to see uh, which variations are selling, which ones are not. Over here, you can quickly see the um, the two different um, styles or variation uh, trees. So you see the size tree right here. You can see the 10 and a half and the nine and a half sell the most. Um, the six and a half sells the least and the 14 sells the next least. Okay, and then we see colors here. So what can we uh, deduct from this? Well, it takes you about two seconds when you pop this open to look at your shoes, see, okay, uh, 10 and a half, nine and a half are winners and this shadow navy and white, 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 matte silver are the uh, color winners, okay? If you pick up a shoe and it is the black, black carbon in size six and a half, eh, I might pass on that. That's probably a pretty slow mover, all right? And you can see like the individual products here if you want as well. Um, I like this sort of just at a glance uh, to the left side, but if you really want more data, you can look in here. Um, I tend to think uh, we need speed over most things. I think uh, efficiency in your sourcing is going to be king. Um, there are other buttons. If you like selling stuff on eBay, they've got an eBay button. Um, you can click to look this up on Google um, just with a click. That's uh, a little bit handy. Um, <laughs> if you're an 80-year-old and you've been selling on Amazon for... <laughs> 15 years and you haven't broken old habits, you can use camel, camel, camel. Uh, there's a button for Kipa, which is the same. Well, it's it's like camel, 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 but a million times better. Um, so you can pull up Kipa right here. And I really like that they just included a straight button. Instead of trying to say like, this is the Kipa graph, um, they're kind of like, yes, here's sort of like the, the dumbed down version. If you really just want the at a glance view, um, but you really want, if you're diving into a product, like let's say you're buying 50 of these and you really want to know more data, you're going to want to pull up the actual Keepa um, page on a web browser. You don't want to pull up the Keepa app. You don't want to pull up Keepa that's like nested within another program because those are always watered down, always. Um, you want the full version of Keepa when you're looking up this stuff. Um, if you're going deep on something and then you can pull up all of your, all of your Keepa information there that you know and love. Um, the other cool thing you can do here is you can click add item. So if I'm going to buy this, I can add it directly to my unlisted inventory in inventory lab. Um, this is a pretty handy way. Like if you're, if you're sort of going through and making, um, a buy list as you're getting stuff, you can add it to your unlisted inventory. And then once you actually receive that stuff in the mail, you just pull open your unlisted inventory in inventory lab and just change it over from unlisted to listed and boom. Now you don't have to do that whole process and step of listing stuff again. Um, this is especially helpful if you are hiring employees um, and you are afraid of your employees sort of messing up your uh, listing process. Um, this sort of lists it for them and then they can just click a button to switch it from unlisted to listed and then ship it off. Um, the other thing you can do with this is you can add it to a Google Sheet. Um, so if you have a Google Sheet of all of your stuff, or maybe you have a um, a virtual assistant who's a buyer for you, they can go through all of this stuff, add it to carts, add it to a Google Sheet for these are today's leads or these are today's buys. You can go through that and buy stuff from there. Um, these are both very handy things, especially for larger sellers. Um, this is one of the more common um, features. Um, something else I forgot to mention up here. So if you're selling small and light stuff, you can just easily switch. Boom, boom. Um, obviously this is not small and light, but if it were, you could, um, sell it as a small and light type thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, those are pretty much all the features. It's, it doesn't, um, it doesn't have to look the prettiest. It doesn't have to have extra bells and whistles and all this other stuff. It's free. Um, I think that 95% of the time this uh, will be replacing any other uh, on-screen calculator that you might be using because it's free. Most on-screen calculators cost you between like two and three hundred dollars per year, uh, like twenty bucks a month, roughly. Um, if you can save twenty bucks a month and buy an extra pair of these shoes, um, I I'd say go for that because this does pretty much everything. Um, so far, I mean, the only the only main um, sort of pet peeve that I have here that all of the other calculators will do is I can't do my calculations within this. What do I mean by that? Well, let's say I have a 20% off coupon. I can't just take $20. I can't put um, 20 and then multiply it by anything. It won't let me, um, I don't know if you can hear my keyboard, but it won't let me do things. I can put a minus sign um, and a plus sign, but it won't actually do those calculations um, within it. A little bit of a pet peeve. I've reached out to them. We'll see if they change it. Um, Cause I'd like to be able to add my coupons 
right in there without having to do the mental math. But other than that, this does, again, 95%. Um, things like Ace and Zen and Seller Amp, they have a couple features um, that this doesn't, like with their history and stuff like that. I'll be doing another video where I'm actually comparing each of these sort of on-screen calculators, talking about um, which features each of them has that's unique, um, comparing their prices, all of that stuff. Um, again, I mean, I'll, I'm sort of giving you the sneak peek. In 95% of scenarios, this is going to be your winner because it's free and it does almost everything. All right. So we like it a lot. Um, if you don't have Inventory Lab, I'm going to put a link down below. Um, you'll get a little free trial for that. So we've got like a free trial coupon. So you can grab a free trial to Inventory Lab if you're not using that. And then this will come with that for free. Okay. If you guys have any other questions or features that you like about this, or maybe things that you don't like about this, let me know in the comment section below. I love hearing from you guys things. Uh, obviously, I'm not perfect. I'm going to miss things. There's going to be features. It's like, oh, you know, I hadn't thought about using that. Um, obviously there's settings you can change all of that stuff. Um, if you like different flavors of things, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. I think that this is a game changer. I think this is going to basically kill any need that people have for things like seller amp for things like uh, rev seller, all, all of these on screen things. It basically kills them except for a very niche few people that need very certain features. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you in the next video. Hustle on, everybody.